Hey, what's up everyone? It's Andy with LightenUpAndShoot.com. Today, for Two Minute Tuesdays, we're going to learn a little bit about white balance. White balance is an extremely important part of photography because it's going to set the mood of your image. We've all heard and seen it. A cool image has a blue cast to it, and a warm image, a yellow cast. The mood each of these color casts creates is completely opposite of each other, and it's a phenomenal way to get more creative images. Don't worry, white balance sounds complicated, but it really isn't. Uh, once you get the grasp of it, you're gonna be like, duh. Okay, anyways, a long time ago, there was a guy named Lord Kelvin who came up with a super complicated way to burn stuff and show that light has a temperature. We appreciate all of his hard work and we love him for it, but here at lightenupandshoot.com, we're gonna try to explain this just a little bit easier. The Kelvin scale was his invention and it works like this. The Kelvin measurements go from 1,000 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. The lower the Kelvins, or the temperature, the yellower the light is. The hotter the temperature, or the higher the Kelvins, the bluer the light is. I know, it sounds backwards. Usually you say a warm image is yellow and a cold one is blue, and that's still true, but think of it like a candle. The hardest part is blue, and the cooler or less hot is red or yellow. Told you it's not that complicated. For example, let's say I have a piece of white paper and I set this piece of white paper next to a candle. Candlelight is about 1000 Kelvin to 2000 Kelvin, so that piece of white paper is going to look yellow. Or you could say it has a warm look to it. Remember this, this is very important. All right. Let's say I was to take that same piece of paper into the midday blue sky sunlight, which is 5,500 Kelvin. That piece of paper is perfectly white. Keep that in mind. Perfectly white. 5,500 Kelvin, perfectly white. Wink, wink, hint, hint, perfectly white. Okay? Now, if I was to take that same piece of paper and bring it into a shaded area, it's about seven to 8,000 Kelvin, and the light is very blue, causing that white piece of paper to look blue or have a blue cast to it or look cool. Whatever you wanna call it, it's not white, it's blue. So what is white balance? White balance is me telling the camera to please fix my blue, yellow, red, or whatever other color cast, and please turn it white. It's basically me telling the camera, hey, I want this white piece of paper to be white and not have a color cast. So can you please correct it by adding a correction filter to bring my unbalanced Kelvins to perfect daylight Kelvins, which is 5,500 Kelvin, and thus turning my white piece of paper white. Did your head explode? Because mine almost did with that. That was a huge mouthful. All right, so hold on to your hats and let's get into the camera. But first, hit the pause button and go grab your camera. All right, now that you've grabbed your camera, what I want you to do is put it into Kelvin's mode. And once you're in your Kelvin's mode, I want you to bump your Kelvin's all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin, and I want you to take a shot. Now look at it. I know. I just told you that the higher the Kelvins, the bluer the light. So why is your shot red? No, your camera is not broken. So put the phone down, don't call B&H. The reason your photo is all red is because the camera is actually trying to correct the photo to match daylight, 5500 Kelvin. The camera thinks you're shooting in extremely blue light, so the camera is trying to correct it and bring it down to that magical 5,500 Kelvin. The way the camera corrects is by adding red. Since you obviously aren't shooting in extremely blue light, then you only see the correction that the camera is applying to balance your whites. Is it starting to make sense? The same thing would happen if you change your Kelvins down to 2,500 K and take a shot. Since you're telling the camera you're shooting in extremely red light, it will try to correct it by adding blue, so your image will be blue or cold. So how does this make you more creative? Simple. 
If you want a scene to look exactly like your eyeballs are seeing it, then you leave your camera set at 5500 Kelvin. Since you're telling the camera that you're in perfect light, the camera will say, okay, I will not adjust or balance your whites since the image is captured in perfect light, I'll leave it as is. This is extremely useful when you're trying to capture the mood of an environment. For example, we have this image here, which is captured in a recording studio. It has a, a warm mood, and I wanted to capture that. If I would have tried to correct my white balance here, I would get a very blah mood. Yes, it's white balanced and it's corrected, but guess what? The image looks a little bit flat. So let's go back to it and we'll see. This is 5,500 Kelvins, shot exactly as my eyes saw it. And this one is corrected. 2,750 Kelvins, eh, not so cool. All right? In any case, experiment. Just be careful with those really crappy fluorescent lights. Kelvins bounce, those Kelvins bounce all over the place. Uh, and it's tough. So I would shoot auto white balance when you are using uh, fluorescence. All right. If you want to warm up your image, this is really basic. You simply bump up your Kelvins. Or if you want to cool it down, you cool it down by lowering your Kelvins. A fast and easy way to remember which way to move your Kelvins is with this saying. Warm it up, cool it down. Warm up your image by bumping up your Kelvins and cool it down by lowering your Kelvins. All right, guys. This is Andy with LightenUpAndShoot.com. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.